your child. First thing is don't jump and get angry with mistakes. Just go into a adventure. You know, it's like, especially let's say you're helping your child with math, and we're looking into it, and he keeps making the same mistakes over and over again. And the first thing that comes to moms and dads, the first thing on their minds is, ah, so careless. But wait, stop. Reflect. Why is my child making the same mistakes over and over again? Maybe he didn't even understand the first time or the second time. Or maybe sometimes as parents, I mean, we've been doing math for years and years for many of us. And it's like, of course, everyone should be able to understand it. We kind of forget what it was like when we were in school and we were first struggling trying to do our math homework. And so it's good to stop and look at, at your child and go, okay, let's look at these questions. Let's look into where you don't understand. Maybe it's the language, especially for math. It's a new language for our children to be exposed to. For example, there was a, a student who couldn't do a simple math sum, something that he's been doing over and over, he's been practicing, and then all of a sudden he froze and he just went, I can't do it. And then I went, why? What's wrong with this question that you can't do it? And it turned out he didn't understand the meaning of the word worth. How much is it worth? So these are the areas that we have to be patient and move through with our children step by step. Sometimes it's not just completing the sum and getting it correct. What we want also is to look at the process whether our children understand the instructions, do they understand the vocabulary?